Good morning, I am Dr. Daniel Amparare, resident at the Department of Urology of San Luigi Gonzaga Hospital, University of Turin, directed by Professor Francesco Portiglia. Thank you for watching and for your interest in our paper, Three-Dimensional Virtual Imaging of Renal Tumors, a new tool to improve the accuracy of nephrometry scores. Over the past decade, in order to assess the anatomical complexity of a renal mass, several nephrometry classifications have been developed, considering the occurrence of postoperative complication as an evaluation parameter. Nevertheless, being the evaluation based on bidimensional images, a complete understanding of the morphological and anatomical characteristics of the tumors can remain potentially suboptimal. In recent years, new technological tools are emerging, allowing the creation of 3D virtual models from the processing of 2D standard images in order to assess more precisely the surgical complexity of a partial nephrectomy. As you can see, the 3D model clearly shows the anatomical details of the kidney. Also, the hidden portions of the organ can be clearly visualized by modulating the transparency of the surrounding structures. For the purpose of our study, we calculated Padwin renal nephrometry parameters using 3D virtual models. Moreover, the new 3D nephrometry scores were compared to the standard ones in order to assess their predictive role for postoperative outcomes, focusing on complications. 101 patients were included and underwent partial nephrectomy performed by a single expert surgeon. Here, we report the frequencies and proportions of patient distribution considering each variable, the total Padua and Renal score, and their corresponding category, evaluated with both standard CT and 3D virtual models. As shown, many of them ended up statistically different depending on the imaging tool used. In order to better explain these findings, we show some examples of how the calculated scores changed or were confirmed on the basis of the evaluating tool used. In these cases, the 3D virtual models downgraded the nephrometry scores. Here, on the contrary, the nephrometry scores have been maintained. This is instead the only case in which the nephrometry score was increased by 3D evaluation. In around 50% of the cases, the use of 3D virtual models led to a reduction of the Padua and Renal score. Focusing on the scores categories, in 30% of the cases, a downgrading was recorded. Considering the role of the nephrometry scores in predicting postoperative complications, the rock curves show significantly larger areas under curve for the 3D nephrometry scores and categories compared to the corresponding 2D ones. Similar results were confirmed considering major complications only. Moreover, also multivariable models show a superiority of 3D nephrometry categories in predicting both postoperative and major complications. The results of our study suggest that the use of 3D virtual models increases the accuracy in evaluating the surgical complexity of a renal tumor. Thus, it seems more strictly related to the imaging tool considered and not by the type of nephrometer score chosen. Thank you for your kind attention.